All right, so we're going to begin uh, this video with a reference here from the Sundervan Pictorial Bible Dictionary. I've actually found an original version of this in the archive.org website. All right, again, the Sundervan Pictorial Bible Dictionary. Uh, general editor is Meryl Citini, Dean of the Graduate School of Theology. We in college, we in Illinois. All right, associate editor, Stephen Barabas, THD, picture and layout editor, Peter Deviser, with the assistance of 65 contributors, scholars, and experts in various fields. All right. So this is from 1963, 1964, and 1967 copies. All right. So these are the sources of the pictures it says here. You can see all the sources. All right, and contributors to this work, this book, this dictionary, all right? Just an example, Polly Adolf, School of Medicine, University of Pennsylvania, all right, look at this. All right, so these are all the people helping out and contributing uh, in this book, all right? All of these are like college PhD professors and stuff. This is a very scholarly book, actually. It's not just any book. I don't know if you've heard about it uh, before when we were, you know, looking for certain words and stuff. All right, and uh, we run into this book, but this book actually has changed over the years. This book from the 1960s, very thorough, right? It's very original and has a lot of information that was taken out or changed. The words changed as time went on. I can show you different versions of this because I do have them, but I'd like to show you this is the originals, uh, first ones, you know, printed in the 60s. All right, so these are all the contributors again. Um, so we're in page 330. We're in the H's, right? Just wanted to start out this video with this definition so you can get a, a feeling of what where I'm taking this, right? So it says, Ham, right? It says the youngest son of Noah, born probably about 96 years before the flood. And one of the eight persons to live through the flood, he became the progenitor of the dark races, but not the Negroes. Again, very important, right? I know that kind of confuses a lot of people all right but like we've been trying to say all skin folk ain't king folk all right again ham he is the progenitor of the dark races but not the negroes all right not the nagas not the negroes not the copper color races in america but of the egyptians ethiopians libyans and canaanites his indecency when his father lay drunk and brought a curse upon Canaan. All right. I know a lot of the uh, people fight that because they're trying to say, oh, oh, that's just like a white man to blame the only so-called Negro, right? Uh, as, as the one being cursed. But again, they're telling you straight up here that Ham, he is a progenitor of dark races, but not of the Negroes, the Nagas, the Negus, the Nagas, the kings, the priest kings. He's the uh, progenitor of the Egyptians, Ethiopians, Libyans, and Canaanites, all right? And one thing we have to know in Dodge, the hijack, in is that we assume that Japheth was white, that Shem was, you know, white like the white Israelites, and that Ham was the only Negro, and that's totally false, totally false. So, so that whole, oh, they're just trying to blame the, the dark-skinned man and curse him. No, that's, that's you're wrong. It has nothing to do with complexion has nothing to do with complexion all right again ham is the progenitor of the dark races but not the negroes not the negroes yes dark races but not the negroes doesn't mean this is telling you straight up that not all dark-skinned people in the world are related or of the same you know nation tribe or whatever you know or uh ancestor all right. All right. So now we're in this uh, book or article, uh, scholarly, actually, you know, it's called Moors, Moabites and Berbers. Are these names and people historically synonymous? Analyzing historical, biblical and archaeological correlations by Cheek Way L of the Moorish American Research Group for the Moorish Science Society, March 23rd. 2017 this is just two years ago all right let's get up to date all right so 
who is uh, Shikwe L. So we're in this uh, website, independentacademia.edu. I get a lot of very scholarly articles from this website. Um, so we find Shikwe L here. It says, Moorish American researchers seeking to prove the historical doctrine of Prophet Noble Druali and other related topics. All right. We're going to get into this article right now, which I have open. And uh, this is another one here. It's another website here. Uh, Lulu.com, uh, it's, I guess, a bookstore or whatever. So it says about Sheik Wei L. And these are some of the books he's got. The Moabites. Who are the Moors? Moabites. Holy Quran of the Moorish Science Temple of America. Moorish Literature Compiled Articles and Lectures. Moorish American Civics and Guide. Debunking the Myth of Blackness. All right. You ain't black. Moore's been telling you for years. That's just a tag, right? Doesn't doesn't uh, hold up in law or anything. Don't call yourself black. That don't mean nothing. The Morris Scientist book one. All right, and so on. So, I mean, he's very important in this uh, Morris community uh, with the teachings and the history. All right, he, I guess, uh, I don't know because I don't know Morris that read his books, but I would consider him, if I was a more uh, somebody you can trust with information or maybe or, or, or has a strong influence all right he has a lot to say he has a lot of books published all right uh maybe some more may not agree say oh no he doesn't represent all of us but hey what i just wanted to show is that he wrote an article 